Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're making a replica of a connection machine with the Raspberry Pi. The connection machines were a series of supercomputers from the 1980s that featured red LEDs in an iconic cubic enclosure design. We were inspired to design and 3D print a case for the Raspberry Pi and used Adafruit's Charlieplex LED matrices. We also used black LED acrylic to diffuse the matrices and design them to just slide into place. The audio visualizer demo features interactive LEDs using the audio levels from a USB microphone. This project uses a total of eight LED matrices and two I2C buses. Random blinky lights are a classic staple of retro computers depicting their CPU activity. These 13 by nine Charlie Plex LED matrices are daisy chained over I2C and they're powered directly from the Raspberry Pi. This project can also be powered by the low cost Raspberry Pi Pico RP2040. With CircuitPython, you can run the Blinky Lights demo or write your own animations using the LED driver. You can use jumper wires to easily plug in wires to the headers on your CircuitPython dev board. The audio visualizer and chasing LED demos were written only for the Raspberry Pi. The enclosure can be 3D printed using your favorite filament. Links to the files are in the description. You can set the I2C address bus by soldering the jumpers on the back of the driver board. This project uses a total of eight LED matrices and two I2C buses. Be sure to check out the learn guide for full step-by-step -step tutorial on building this project. The enclosure pieces are attached together using machine screws. The LED matrices snap fit into these little PCB frames that are secured to the enclosure. The case features built-in rails for the black LED acrylic panels. Jumper wires are plugged into the header pins for easy connectivity. A right angled USB adapter is used to run the power cable for the Raspberry Pi to a 5 volt power supply. A separate PCB mounting plate can be used to secure the Raspberry Pi Pico RP2040 board to the bottom of the case. The back of the cubes feature snap fit panels and feature vents to keep your Raspberry Pi nice and cool. We hope this inspires you to check out CircuitPython for your retro inspired builds. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.